really need a paper on it? Oh, you're gonna get it now! World of Final Fantasy is a game developed and published by Square Enix in 2016. And in the World of Final Fantasy, you play as Ren and Lan, two twins who is living a peaceful life in a quiet little town. That's until one day when they notice that the town is more quiet than usual. There's only one other person present in the entire town, excluding themselves. Naturally, they get into a conversation with the one person asking her if she knows anything about the situation. It turns out that both Ren and Lan were once mighty Mirage Keepers, more on that later, and protected another world called Grimoire. They can't remember anything about their past, but Grimoire calls for their aid once again. So Ren and Lan goes on another adventure in Grimoire to return their lost memory and once again save the world. So this leads to an epic adventure in a cute but deadly world. In the world of Grimoire is where the real game begins. Even though the game has a very slow start, which involves you watching people talk about game mechanics over and over again, it starts to pick up after a few hours. It's also in Grimoire uh, you meet these strange little creatures called Mirages. Much like Pokemon, Mirages are these monster type of things which you can capture and use at your own bidding later. And Mirages needs to be captured. How do you capture a Mirage, you say? You need to do a specific action to a wild Mirage during combat. This can vary from hitting them to using a specific element on them, which in turn opens the opportunity to imprison them, which basically means capture them. Exactly what you need to do, uh, to do depends from Mirage to Mirage. The battle system itself works like most other Final Fantasy games. It's a turn-based combat system where you carefully can choose which ability or skill you want to use next. A good addition to this system, however, is the option to make the battles go faster. You can hold down a button at all times to make the battle fast forward. This means that there isn't so much time wasted on just waiting for either you or your enemy to do an action. You can also choose which combat layout you want to use. If you're familiar with Final Fantasy, you can use the classic one, and if you're new to the series, you can actually use a simpler one, which is easier to understand. It's natural to compare this type of gameplay to Pokemon, and it's similar in many ways. You can only carry a set of Mirages on your person at a time, and the others get teleported to a case, to a prism cage, where they are kept until you want to use them. But unlike Pokemon, the Mirages can be powered up in custom ways through an upgrading system, similar to the one you find in Final Fantasy X, a much smaller system, but similar. Here you can spend points to choose which kind of skill or ability you would like your Mirages to learn. Also unique to this game is the ability to stack your Mirages and yourself on top of each other. Your Mirages have three different sizes, small, medium and large. The smallest one goes on top, the medium in the middle and the largest one on the bottom. This means that you're allowed to stack Mirages on top of each other to combine their HP, turn, abilities and so on. But one of the fun additions to stacking is that some Mirages gain unique abilities if paired with the right other Mirage. But be careful, stacking also means that you can get toppled. This is a state where an enemy knocks your entire stack over, which in turn means that there are penalties for getting knocked over during combat. Also a cool thing to note is that you can actually change the size of yourself as well. You can choose between being a large human or a medium-sized cute pop-pop character version of yourself. 
You can also change these sizes mid combat to mix things up. Also during combat you can either choose to just do regular attack or spend some action points to use a special attack like fire, cure or ice magic or in fact use an item of course potions and other healing items. You have a set amount of action points or AP at the beginning of each combat but it also replenishes during battle. One of the weak spots during combat however is the animations. It's kind of a minor thing but I would like my character and the enemy to walk up to the target and swing at them, not just swing blindly into the air and hit the target. Other than that, the combat is good. It's very similar to other Final Fantasy games but I guess that's because it's a formula that works. But the mir mirages and stacking options add a new twist to the mix. In the world of Final Fantasy there isn't a shortage on things to do. You can uh, choose to go either directly through the story or backtrack via a quick traveling system which allows you to visit places you've already been, to track down and capture every mirage in that area. The game also has side quests you can complete called mini ventures. The best thing about the mini ventures is that you don't need to go back to the owner of the quest to complete it. You can simply do it from the menus. There are also th these special cubes spread throughout the world which contains one or more big special monsters and earns you a handsome reward if defeated. These cubes are designed so you're not supposed to be able to defeat the monsters within the first time you see the cube. So you're meant to backtrack to the place later and kick its ass! You can also swing by the hub called Nine Wood Hills to do some special quests, stock up on items or visit the Colosseum to do some hardcore battles. One of the less good things about the world of Final Fantasy is that it has the same annoying setup for enemies and encounters like all other Final Fantasy games. I'm of course talking about random encounters. Some people like them, some people hate them. Nevertheless, they're still present in the game. This means that you can't see the enemies around you in the world. The screen just breaks and you're transported to a separate air arena where you will battle it out versus your opponent. This will make walking from A to B a chore at times. Maybe you don't feel like fighting the same mirages over and over again? Too bad, the game is gonna make you anyways. But on another strong note, you actually get to meet some characters from previous Final Fantasy games. This is accompanied by some very fitting music. Some of the music is actually from previous Final Fantasy games as well. The graphics is also very fitting to the style and feel of the game. And it's of course almost impossible not to be adored by some of the creatures in the world of Grimoire. But if we are to talk more about the technical aspect of the game, there's a hiccup there as well. It appears the game only allows you to have one save game at a time. So if you've got more friends or people around you that want to play the game too on the same PlayStation profile, nope, that's not happening. But uh, I don't know if this is a solution or not, but you can try changing profiles to see if you are allowed to have a new save on that profile. But all in all, the world of Final Fantasy is a good experience so far. I can't make a definitive final verdict yet, but let's look on the positives and the negatives of the game so far. So the positives are a lot of upgrades for your mirages, cuteness overload, a lot of things to do, a welcome back for some fan favorite characters and some new and fun things to experiment with, stacking and etc. And the negatives are animations during combat, slow start to the game, only one save and can be a chore to walk from A to B at times. So the verdict so far is 8 out of 10. And that's because the positives way more than the negatives in this one. So hopefully you enjoyed this early review of World of Final Fantasy. If you did, please consider leaving a sub and checking out the other things on my channel. So until next time, stay awesome and thanks for watching.